Good afternoon. It is November 7th. We're up here again at the hangar working on the project. We're going to be working on the side skins again today. The Yesterday we got the tabs that were accessible from inside drilled and now we have some tabs that are back here that we can't get to from inside because if you can see on the other side maybe they're kind of behind that solid part there with the triangle in it. That's what's right behind here. So we got some big paper. I'm gonna put it up here, make a template, and then get the drilling done. And we'll see how far we get. That's the plan for today. Okay, got our template on here and we just went through the existing uh, tabs that we can see and a little bit of a wrinkle, it'll get it close enough, but put it in these two tabs and then these are the four that you can't get to from the, from the other side that are behind that there. So we did that on both sides and now we'll take this off, we'll Clico this onto the skin and then we'll transfer drill those holes. Uh, for that. After further review from the project manager, she has determined that we'll need to redo this one. So we're going to redo this. I'll show you how that's done. It's just up there. You got it. It's that hole has a bunch of bunch of powder coat in it. Okay, now there's no there's no ripple. It's straight across. Satisfactory. All right. Okay, we're done for the day up here. Um, not a super long afternoon or anything like that. We just wanted to get 
uh, that template, those pe templates done and get those holes drilled for these side skins. So we got all those done as you saw and got everything final, got the tabs all final size, the holes final size up to a number 30. And we made some tabs, or not tabs, some spacers for, for uh, spacers for these tabs. Uh, I think I've explained it before when we did the mount up of this tail cone here, uh, we mounted it to the outside of the gusset that's back here, which puts adds an additional spacing behind or spacing between the skin and these these <laughs> between the skin and the tabs. I'm just gonna let the camera do whatever it wants to do, I guess. Uh, so we've these back two here um, needed a really thick spacer. Okay, so we made these spacers out of, uh, there's the fuel tank, or the fuel cap retainer ring that goes in the fuel tank has this piece that you have to tear out, or tear out, yeah, well you do, mm -hmm. you have to tear, tear it out it. of there. Um, and that, we measured this out and it is just the exact width that we needed for these tabs. So we use that, cut those out, and I know uh, we can use washers in there, but I didn't want to have to dink around with washers and trying to hold them in there or super glue them together or whatever. Uh, so we just made those tabs a little bit wider, or the spacers a little bit wider than the tabs. I'm eventually going to get this right. A little bit wider so when we rivet this from the inside, we can just hold it in there with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers and then we can put the rivet through it uh, and get that done. So we did those. We're going to do the same thing up here, except we're going to use some of the metal from this piece, which we cut out of the leading edge of the wing to do the landing lights. And you can see we've been using this for other various things. Um, but yeah, we'll use a piece of that. This is just a little bit thinner, and we just need a little bit thinner piece for that. And we've got a couple other tabs, I think, on the other side that we might have to do a spacer on. But anyways, uh, that's what we got done today. Oh, why? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so she did the, the video opening because uh, I was over at a hangar down the way. Uh, I was looking at a looking at an airplane. Uh, there's a, a mechanic down there working on a Turbo 182 that uh, I, I wanted to take a peek at while he had it all tore apart, they had to pull the engine on it, so he's in the process of putting that back on, putting a new prop on it, and it was really cool to see that. Uh, uh, There's a lot of, lot of plumbing in that airplane, that's for sure. But anyways, hey, thanks for watching. Everybody have a good evening, and that's it for now.